What's up everyone, it's your boy Norrin Rad 89 here bringing you another Rad Movie Review today to talk about The Strangers Chapter 1. I know I promised you all I was going to check out this movie, I finally did get a chance to go see this. We took the kids, we took our daughters to go see it, me and my wife, it was a little family event thing, we went and we all saw it and everything and sadly this was kind of a pretty much what I expected it to be. I'm going to talk about positives, there are a couple positives to take away from this but we're going to talk about positives, negatives, the rating, and then I'm going to send you all home. So let's do this. Roll it. So The Strangers Chapter 1 is the beginning of a new trilogy that we are going to be getting. We already have all three of these films are greenlit. And I think we're actually getting Chapter 2 coming out later this year. And then the third film is going to be coming out like early next year. So we already got these three films laid out. They filmed them. It's already been done. And Chapter 1 is out. And like this is kind of a remake, rehash of the first Strangers film. And this one is directed by Rennie Harland. We have our lead actors and actresses in here who are Maya and Ryan are lead actors those characters who are a couple who are together they're not married but they're a loving couple who are on a road trip and everything and then their car ends up breaking down in this kind of weird kind of town called Venus and then of course the strangers start stalking them and get a little home invasion stuff going on so let's talk about before we get into negatives and everything let's kind of talk about our positives and stuff like that is positives right away is that I think the music is really good there's a couple of positives. I think the music is really good. The score is actually on point, And there are really some moments where like Rennie Harlan, I really love this guy. And in terms of directors, I support him. And there are moments, glimmers of hope. I'm talking about shots, cinematography, the way the background looks, just the way the fog looks or certain sequences. There are glimmers of hope and the score is really good. And that's really all that are freaking like positives I have to offer for real. Like in terms of negatives, there's a lot. And this is basically a soulless rehash and remake of The First Strangers. And what really hurts that is that The First Strangers was such a knock out of the park. Like that is a great film. I've very, very rarely met a few people that dislike that film. And usually the people that dislike that film they like the strangers pray at night. So there's, like I said, that we, we really lived in a perfect world where there was the strangers and then there was pray at night and there was supporters of both or supporters of one or the other. And we lived in a perfect world. It was like the Terminator and Terminator 2 Judgment Day thing. And now we are starting this trilogy. And chapter one, like I said, for me, in terms of, like I said, it's just not did not hit the mark. This is a complete, like I said, soulless rehash. The characters, really, the only thing they changed is the location and the fact that the characters aren't a couple that's on the, like, breaking up, about to break up. Like Liv Tyler's character and Scott Speedman's character in the first film, they're a married couple that is, like, on the cusp of just breaking up. You know, they don't want to be together kind of thing. You know, they want to separate or stuff and everything. So, or they don't want to even, like, date, like, be married anymore. So it's like, that's how it is. And this one, it's a loving couple, and, like, he just hasn't really pulled the trigger. They come across this weird, creepy town called Venus, and, like I said, the car breaks down. The, the Ryan is a little bit speculative and kind of weary of the town and thinks there's something going on but then you know his girlfriend Maya is like you know oh no let's let's trust them let's you know let's take this Airbnb and go stay at this house and then of course the strangers start stalking them and everything so it's just it, there's nothing really new or interesting that pulled me in and when you're asking Rennie Harlan to do a Strangers film, that's the exact opposite of his specific style. This is a man who directed Dream Master, Nightmare on Elm Street Part 4. He directed Cliffhanger, Deep Blue Sea, Die Hard 2. So these films are nothing like none of his filmography or his catalog makes me think, yeah, you're perfect for The Strangers, Rennie. Which is really sad and sucks to say because I love Rennie and I support him so much and I really think he got shafted in this. Like this is just a, a, like a, was a no win 
situation scenario type thing for him because like directing this film and the fact that i actually found out too that they filmed apparently all three of these films in a matter of like 52 days like 60 days something like that they filmed all three of these films in that span of time so i really don't think they're gonna be that great like i don't in terms of quality are they gonna make their money back are they gonna pull in money and they're gonna eventually like actually make an income for the production company that's putting these films out probably they probably will like no doubt because like i said i think like this first film they really didn't even break 12 million trying to market and put this film out if i think the box office is at 15 million right now over time they might eclipse might get to 20 so it's like uh, you know what i mean like this is a box office and kind of critic failure and the reception from the audience is like mediocre right now i just think like i just we didn't need it we didn't need it this is the prime example of a franchise that we just we had strangers we had pray at night and that was perfectly fine we did not need these other ones and it is sad to say like i really was holding out hope i had my fingers crossed like you should have seen me when i was going with my wife and i was talking to the girls my daughters and we were going on the car there I was like, I'm holding out hope. I'm like, I'm fingers crossed that this is going to surprise me, that there's going to be something. Like I said, there's glimmers of hope where you see a good director trying to make something out of, you know, what really isn't going to be anything. And then, like I said, the music, the score. I thought the score was really haunting, really creepy. And the sound, the sound effects, that's another thing to talk about, I would say, as a positive. The sound mixing and the sound design was on point. That was really good, too. But I just, the whole point of rehashing something that we've already seen done better is not going to work for us. Like I said, me, and I'm a huge fan of The Strangers. And I like Pray at Night. So this is just not going to fall in that ballpark for me of something that I'm going to return to. So The Strangers Chapter 1 is just not one that I would recommend seeing in theaters. I would not recommend going out to see this film. This is definitely one that I would wait for streaming just to feel it out. I would highly recommend waiting for that. In terms of a rad rating, the Strangers Chapter 1 is going to get a 4 out of 10 in my book. Like I said, I really respect and love Rennie Harlan and his vision, and I'm there to support him, but I just think they handcuffed him. Asking him to do this film, they handcuffed him, it being such a rehash of the original, not really changing that much or anything like that. There are some other changes, but I can't really talk about that because that's a spoiler territory type stuff. But yeah, that's just the changes aren't that gravitas making they're not groundbreaking where it's like i'm eager to watch two more of these films because like i said i think we're getting a second film later this year in october or september something like that and then we get a third film early next year and they're already happening so like i said just be be ready this is going to be another timeline something else that we're going to have to digest and like maybe chapter two or chapter three will be a fantastic surprise who knows but thanks for sticking around me all as we talked strangers chapter one please let me know down below in the comment section if you've seen this film i want to hear your thoughts because like i said these are just my thoughts my opinions i know there's some people out there that did enjoy this film i don't think i so far i don't think i heard anybody say that this was better than the first strangers but there might be somebody out there if you're out there let me know down below in the comment section. What did you like about this film that was better than the first film? Or like I said, did you feel basically like me? Then soured and really let down because you had high hopes and fingers crossed that you were going to be surprised. But they really didn't bring anything to the table. Please like the video. That definitely helps out the channel. Subscribe. If you're new to the channel and have that notification bell poke so you're notified anytime I post a video. But most importantly, I want you all to have a safe and happy day. Peace out.